Hi, this is Mike Kilo Charlie 2, Sierra Yankee Fox. Uh, we make the uh, SAT tracker and the company is CSN Technologies. Our website is csnsat.com. Mike has, is it, is, it is it correct to call it a SAT tracker? It is a SAT tracker. Okay. What it does, this is the SAT yeah. tracker. If you're not familiar with it, it will control your ICOM satellite radio as well as your Yaesu uh, G55, 56, or 5400 natively with no other interfaces. Okay. It would connect right he from here to the rotator and another uh, cable from the CIV jack to your CIV jack on your ICOM radio mm -hmm. and it will do all of your Doppler corrections uh, as well as um, point your antenna so that you can have flawless operation of the satellites. Very cool. So the, you said ICOM radio, that means the 9700? 9700 yep. is the one that it works best with, but it will also work with the 9100 and some of the older okay. ICOM radios. Okay, okay, good. So you'd have to have your own uh, like uh, aero antenna and, and rotating... Um, Correct. So you would set up a G5500 mm -hmm. uh, either in the park or on your house with the uh, proper antennas, and this will point them uh, and that'll just do all go. the controlling for Correct. you. Correct. Gotcha. And okay. this has uh, built-in Wi-Fi access points, so mm -hmm. if you're in the field, you can use it uh, to connect to your computer or your smartphone or your tablet uh, without needing any other network uh, connection. Mm -hmm. If you're home, you put it on your home network, and then you can bring it up on any computer in the house. It's, it's a web ent interface. Mm -hmm. There's no software. Mm -hmm. There's no COM ports to configure. Um, everything that you need is built into this one little box. Very cool. Okay, so it's basically plug and play at that point. Plug then. and I mean, play. It doesn't have any COM ports to configure. It's correct. It should be pretty easy. To update your, um, uh, to update the box when we put out a firmware release, it's the press of one button and it downloads it as long as you're on the internet, mm -hmm. as well as the um, TLE files, which is the data uh, that lets uh, the box know where the satellite is at mm -hmm. the time. Uh, that data is a one-button update, also. Okay, and you uh, you said it was. Uh, did you say it was browser? Yes, it's, 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 it's browser, just browser software, so, so uh, you don't have to install anything. That is just, correct. Just open an IP to it or something. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. As okay. an IP address that would get displayed um, okay. from your home network router. Yeah, and and that would uh, you connect right to that. Perfect. Yeah, very similar to like what Pi Star does. If yes, Pi Star hotspots that have a screen do do that. So, okay. Yeah. Cool, man. It sounds so. like a cool piece of equipment. I'm looking forward to testing it soon. Uh, we're I, we're trying to do some satellite buildups, and Frank's been messing with satellites long, actually longer than I have. Uh, so we've got a tripod, and a, he's got an antenna, and we got a tripod we're trying to put together, uh, and this would be really useful. So very we, good. Be interested to see how it works. Customer service is our number one priority. Mm -hmm. We do Zoom tech support calls. Okay. Uh, if anybody has any questions, send us an email. I'll get back to you right away. Oh, sure. Perfect, man. Thanks okay. for your time today. Thank you very All much. Right. All right. Enjoy the show. Day.